In this example, we're going to use a double integral to find the area of the region that we that's given here. Okay, so what we can do is, okay, so let's put our represented piece this way. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be that's going to be our represented piece. Okay, so this is going to be dy then. Okay. Okay, so the area. Okay, so the area is going to be equal to. Okay, so we're going to use a double integral here. So dy, we want we want dy to be on the outside of the integral. Okay. So that means, okay, we're going to have dx, okay, so this is going to be dx dy, okay, okay, so for, in terms of x now, the bounds in, in terms of, in terms of x are going to go from 1 to 5, okay, and then for 5, I'm sorry, for dy, it's going to go from 2 to 4, okay, so it's going to go this way. Okay, so that's basically our that's our that's how we're going to calculate. It. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're going to do the integral. So we're going to do the integral of dx from one to five first. Okay. Okay, so the integral of dx is just x. Okay, evaluate from one to five. Okay, so that's going to give us 5 minus 1, so that gives us 4. Okay, now we're going to take the integral of 4 dy and integrate that with respect to, or sorry, integrate that with respect to y from 2 to 4. So that's going to give us 4y, okay, and evaluate that from 2 to 4. Okay. So that's going to give us 4 times 4 minus 4 times 2. Okay, so that's going to give us 16 minus 8. Okay, so that's going to give us 8. And this is going to be, if this was an application problem, this will be some unit squared. Okay, so we can check, right, and the, if we check this using the area of a rectangle, then we get, right, this is just going to give us 2. Okay, so over here we have this, the distance here is 2, the distance here is 4. So you get 4 times 2, which is 8, okay? All right, the other way we can do this, we could have done this the opposite way, like meaning we can integrate with respect to y first and then x, okay? So let me show you that approach. So in that case, our rectangle would be placed this way. So that means we're going to have dx on the outside. Okay. So this is just an alternate approach. Okay, so the area. For, okay, then our integral will be from. Okay. This is going to be dx. So we want dx on the outside. Okay, so that's going to be dy dx. So in terms of y, so that's going to go from 2 to 4, and then x is going to go from 1 to 5. Okay, so if we evaluate this, we should get the same thing. Okay, so let's check. So first, in, uh, evaluate the integral from 2 to 4 of dy. So that's going to give us y, and then evaluate from 2 to 4. That's going to give us 4 minus 2, which is 2. Okay. So now we take the integral from 1 to 5 of 2 dy. So we're going to integrate this with respect to y. So that's going to give us 2y and then evaluate from 1 to 5. So we're going to get 2 times 5 here minus 2. So that's going to give us 10 minus 2, which is 8. So as we expected, okay. 
All right. Okay, so it doesn't matter which approach, you're going to get the same answer. Okay, so just dy, so the represented piece for dy, okay. All right, so that means this is going to, for dy, this is going to move up and down. And for dx, okay, it's going to move this way. Okay, so it moves horizontally, it moves horizontally and dy moves vertically, okay? So either approach, well, we can either approach we get the same solution, okay?